right, so here we go. Okay, so that's the first lick. Now, what you're doing is pretty cool and it's pretty easy because you keep the exact same shape. Now you just vary the rhythm and you know how you apply the fingers, but the shape that you're gonna make is the exact same in each spot. We're gonna start off barring the D, or excuse me, the G and the B, and it's all gonna be on the G and the B. We're gonna hammer from one fret barring, in this case the 12th fret, and then we're gonna add our middle and ring fingers to the B string 13 and the G string 14. Now what we're gonna do is each time we hit the 12th fret, we're gonna be hammering in right away. So it's gonna sound like Okay, so it's not It's Okay, so we got And that's a pattern. That pattern's gonna happen three times. So we got Alright, so here we go. Now you're gonna take that exact same pattern, or shape I should say, and move it down a whole step to the 10th fret, 11th fret, and 12th fret. Now this time you're gonna go. Okay, so one more time. So all together, when we put the two together, we got. Now what we're gonna do is come down to the fifth fret and we're gonna start with these fingers on, or you can hammer, same way. Okay, and then we're gonna go. And we're gonna keep it ringing this time. The other times you might have noticed that I stop it with this hand and do some palm eating so it's real kind of percussive sounding. This one we're just gonna let ring. Okay, so we're gonna Okay, so all together we got. Okay, now we're gonna shift and go the second time through and it's gonna change a little bit. So we got. Okay, so first part's the exact same. The second part is different, so we got. Again, slowly. Now when we shift down to here, it's different again. It's gonna start with a hammer. Okay, so we got. 